Well, guys, it's the last Jedi situation all over again. Only this time, it's not Ryan Johnson. It's Kevin Smith that's getting the backlash. That's right, guys. All the little man babies, all the little trolls out there, they want to hit that YouTube algorithm. Not going to lie. That's what I'm doing. But instead of bashing Kevin Smith, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to defend Kevin Smith because I think these people are just out of their damn mind. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. As always, if you're finding me for the very first time, please be sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe button. Masters of the Universe Revelations came out this past Friday on Netflix. I watched the series as a longtime Masters of the Universe and He-Man fan. I actually really enjoyed the series, but yet we cannot enjoy anything in the world because people constantly have to bash things. People constantly have to sit there and ridicule these directors because they change a little bit of something that they don't like. We just cannot like something. No, we have to go after the director. We have to sit there and call them a liar. It's not so much that you don't like what he did, but you have to go out and resort to name calling and criticize the character of this person who just put out content. This is fictional content that allows people to enjoy it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But to sit there and come out and not only attack the, the content in which the creator put out, but to attack the character and the person himself, I think that's going too far. And when I say this is the Last Jedi situation all over again, it absolutely is. We're going from everything from review bombing, the audience score, to actually looking at videos of just people just constantly just bashing them. All day, worse than we thought. Kevin Smith lied to us. She exposed him. Just so many different things. People are just doing this and going after them. And I get it. It's a top topic, okay? We know if we put out Masters of the Universe, Kevin Smith lied situation, people are going to click on it. We, I understand that. We're working the algorithm. How come you think I'm doing this video? But the difference is I'm trying to defend Kevin Smith against all the backlash that he is getting. Look, they changed things up a little bit. It's still about He-Man. And not only that, to make matters worse, guys, they are judging this on five episodes that takes place in the first part of a three-part story. We have no idea what's going to happen in the last two parts, yet people are calling him a liar, calling him this, calling that, and if Kevin Smith comes out and even tries to defend himself, he's wrong, and you guys attack him? You guys make videos, make fun of him crying? You attack his character? Come on. We see this time and time again. It's not so simple just to bash the property and the content which we get. No, we have to go after the director. We have to go out with pitchforks and knives and torches and go after these directors and attack them personally. And then we act like they don't have the right to defend themselves. I do not like the 2016 Ghostbusters. Absolutely hate it. Never once did I feel like I had to go out and personally attack Paul Feig or attack the actresses who play in that movie. There are certain things that you do not do, and these people constantly cross the line, and they attack these people. Yes, I understand. They changed something that you didn't like. At the end of the day, you have the right to not watch or purchase that content. You have the right to even talk about that content and even bash that content. If you don't like it, God knows. I hated that new Mortal Kombat movie, and I bashed the living crap out of that movie. Never once did I attack any of the actors or the directors. I think people today, especially YouTubers and people on Twitter, they go way too far where they start questioning and attacking the directors, the producers, and the real-life people behind these properties. You can talk with your wallet by not watching, yet you decide to continue to watch this stuff and yet still cause problems. I don't get that. I don't understand why YouTube is like that, why people feel like you have to do that today. There's so many different YouTube content creators and they all do it over and over and over again in closing i am a masters of the universe fan always have been ever since i was a little kid yes i do enjoy the netflix series and i'm really looking forward to the next two parts if you're someone who didn't like the choices that they made and the story that they're trying to tell by all means don't like it you're entitled to your opinion make videos on it until your heart contends i do think it's a little ludicrous however that you guys decide that you want to attack kevin smith personally for the choices that he made in his show not only that when he tries to defend himself you guys push back even more so it's okay for you guys to attack him but he can't defend himself and i think that's crazy i think that's insane and i think that's a lot of things that's wrong with social media and youtube in general today and again 
I just think it's a very, very horrible thing for people to do, and I don't think there's any class in that. I just I think it's awful. But that's just my thoughts on it, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Have you seen Masters of the Universe? Have you seen the show? Do you like what they're doing? Or are you one of the people that side with these other guys who decide to go after Kevin Smith with pitchforks and torches? Be sure to leave those comments in the comment box below. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.